Alright guys, so in this video I thought I would show off my dragon collection. Uh, as you can see it has grown into something quite spectacular. Uh, yeah, I've been back into the dragon about a year and a half, two years. I'll put up an annotation. Um, for those of you who don't know, I had a dragon when I was a kid. Uh, a Dragon 32. Um, <clears throat> so back in the early to mid 80s, uh, I wanted a Spectrum and my parents couldn't afford to get me one so they wound up picking up a Dragon cheap somewhere. Um, so I wound up with a Dragon and I found it really really hard to find software in local shops for the Dragon so I only really had half a dozen games for it back then and never really played it much and about a, about a year and a half ago to two years ago uh, a friend from work uh, gave me the Dragon 32 actually this one here which belongs in that box at the back there so yeah that got me back into the Dragon um, with the internet it was easy to find games for it so I've been spending my time uh, experiencing all the games and programs that I missed out on back in the day. So this is the Dragon 32 that my friend from work gave me. It's in really really nice condition and like I said it's uh, boxed. The box is a little tatty but it's complete and has the polystyrene inserts and the paperwork and stuff with it which is really cool. So I have it uh, running uh, a game called Galagon. Galagon. It's like a Galaxian or Gal Galaga uh, clone. So it's just running that as a bit of a demo there on my little 80s TV. Which only has RF. It doesn't have a scart on it. <laughs> uh, Betamax sticker on the side of it there. So it's... Uh, running through RF into this TV <clears throat> and I have my original Dragon controller there, Dragon DOS controller it's uh, an original uh, one made by Dragon and it's running Dragon DOS version 1 and it's connected to this original Dragon twin floppy disk drive um, so drive 1 and drive 2 there as you can see. I also have this original uh, single Dragon disc drive which isn't hooked up at the minute. Um, I don't have the right ribbon cable to hook them both up at the same time. But I just uh, brought it out for show. So both of these work perfectly. Um, this is the one I have some videos about repairing this on my channel. This uh, has worked perfectly since I got it. This uh, sticker I printed myself, the original Dragon sticker was missing off this. So I printed out my own sticker and my printer actually ran out of ink halfway through it, which is why I have this purple uh, fade on it, which uh, I actually quite liked, so I just kept it. I also have these two Dragon uh, joysticks, these are the original Dragon ones. One of them is missing the top part on the joystick there, as you can see. And these are boxed as well. There's the box for them sitting there. On top of the disc drives here, I have a stack of uh, books for the Dragon. They're all sort of, you know, programmer books, type in your own programming. Or type in your own programs and how to program, that sort of thing. Quite a few of them there. <clears throat> so on this side I have my Dragon 64 which is hooked up to my little uh, Philips TV. It's 14 inch. Uh, I'm assuming that one's about 14 inch as well. So yeah, uh, on the uh, the 64 I have uh, a recently acquired Dragon DOS controller. This is made by uh, Zaxxon 
um, he makes lots of um, mods and stuff for the ZX Spectrums. So he actually made or developed a brand new Dragon DOS controller because these are really hard to get. So he started making these and a really nice feature is if you can see there this actually has two switches on it. And it has four different versions of Dragon DOS on it. So using those two switches you can select between four different versions of Dragon DOS which is a really really nice feature. And I have it hooked up to uh, this five and a quarter inch Cumana drive. This originally came from uh, a BBC Micro. I have two of these. Um, works perfectly with this. So I have uh, that game there. It's uh, Revenge of the Bongo Beast. <laughs> you call that game. Uh, that's uh, what's loaded up on the dragon there. And I also have this bottom three and a quarter inch, three and a half inch drive, sorry. I have it uh, hooked up in, uh, along with this. This top drive isn't being used at the minute, but I can, at a switch of a cable, have two uh, three and a half inch drives hooked up to the Dragon. But at the minute I have this five and a quarter and this three and a half inch drives. Here's my small selection of cartridges of Cave Hunter, Astro Blast, Starship Chameleon, Cosmic Avengers, Invaders, sorry, and Ghost Attack. There's uh, five cartridges, that's all the cartridges I have for the Dragon. And up on the top of the box here, I have uh, a couple of uh, empty boxes, one from Starship Chameleon. Uh, that's from a program called Computer Voice. It's actually a cassette and that's from Astro Blast. So these two contained two of those cartridges and that one has a tape on it. And I also have a sealed Vegas jackpot there from Mastertronic. And hooked up to the Dragon 32 here I also have uh, my little Dixon's uh, tape deck which is also uh, boxed yeah um, this thing is 100% working it works absolutely perfectly and it's really really nice for loading games into the dragon and it's uh, yeah from back in the day pretty cool so I have uh, Demon Knight in there at the moment and over here I have my custom painted Dragon 32. I also have videos about this on my channel. Yeah, this was uh, horribly yellowed so I done a custom paint job on it. It also has heat sinks on the chips and a fan inside it. And this is my other Dragon DOS controller. It is uh, by a guy called Lafumat. As you can see on it there, uh, these are no longer being made. It has uh, Dragon DOS 4.2 on it at the minute. I do have uh, a different chip, so I can swap them out if I need to. But uh, I don't really need to do that anymore, now that I have four different Dragon DOSes on this. And beside it here, we'll have my collection of software on floppy disks. Uh, yeah, there's quite a bit. There's uh, hundreds of games here. Uh, these uh, three and a half inch discs hold 720k each. So there's, you know, up to maybe 20, 25 games on one of these discs. These uh, five and a quarter inch discs only hold 175k. So there's, you know, maybe half a dozen games on each of these. In some cases 10, in some cases I've only one game, you know, I've dedicated a disc for one game. So yeah, I've uh, years worth of games there to play. I also have uh, an original copy of OS 9 Level 1, which is uh, an operating system for the Dragon. Down below here I have a couple of 
uh, office software discs um, which I picked up on eBay not so long ago Just put it in uh, five and a quarter inch floppy disks um, it's, really, it's pretty damn hard to find uh, Dragon software on disc uh, original stuff so I picked these up on eBay for a couple of quid probably something that they'll never use but I thought they were cool to have anyway and I also have a Trojan light pen which I picked up on eBay as well um, I've had pretty poor results trying to use this thing um, and up here it is complete it has a cassette there with a few sort of programs for testing it out on um, it does seem to work but it doesn't seem to like the TV that I was trying it out on so I'll have to do some further testing with that at a future date so here I have my uh, cassettes um, some original and some not so these are all the original stuff here um, this glove game is actually a home, homebrew game made by Chronosoft I think it was 2009 this was released um, it's a gauntlet clone so I grabbed that off their website um, this next drawer has uh, some tapes that I've made up myself and some blank tapes and then this last drawer is all blank tapes some uh, still sealed stuff or still sealed tapes there and uh, I managed to pick up these Cuthbert branded cassette tapes um, for anyone who knows the Dragon Cuthbert was a huge brand on the Dragon so I think it was Micro Deal who made the Cuthbert games or who uh, released the Cuthbert games should I say uh, yeah so I managed to pick up I have four of these two have the inlay and two don't pretty cool they were sold as you know blank cassettes pretty cool and little rarity there and I also have a huge pile of Dragon user magazines um, of three binders full of them here um, I think it was uh, 57 issues when I counted them when I first got them um, I got these actually for free from a guy off the Dragon archive forums actually sent me these just basically for the price of postage so yeah um, 60p in May of 1983 <laughs> uh, he's a cool looking dude look at him <laughs> so yeah uh, uh, a lifetime's worth of reading here So that's my Dragon computer collection. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this little tour. I uh, spent absolute hours setting this all up. And uh, yeah, I hope uh, the electric bill isn't going to be too high. Let's uh, have two TVs, two Dragons, two floppy drives. You know, quite a lot running here and a huge big light behind me. Trying to lighten it all up a bit for the video. So there you are guys, if you have any questions about the dragon, uh, feel free to ask. I will try my best to answer. I don't know everything about it, but I have a, a fair idea of most of it. Hope you enjoyed watching guys. Catch you in the next one. Bye for now.